Hello everyone and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. Last time we left off we made ourselves our one recharge pedestal and uh, the uh, the compound recharge focus that goes on top of it. Today we will be making our node transducer uh, which I don't believe we've made yet. Uh, we've made... Is it on me? Where did I put it? I know I made one. There it is, our advanced node stabilizer. So we've made an advanced node stabilizer. Now we need to make a node transducer. For that, we're going to need a node stabilizer, which we no longer have because I turned it into an advanced one, which is okay because we need the advanced one anyway. I don't believe I have an extra one laying around. I'd be very much surprised if I did. And I don't. There you go. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we need to make a new one. So I need... I don't have any more Night Ore. Whoops. Uh, let's see. How many Night Ores am I going to need? One. Two. Two Night Ore. That's the one. Just. There we go. Two Night Ore. I'm going to need... A redstone comparator again. So that's three stone. Uh, three redstone torches. Boom. Uh, and a piece of quartz. So the rest I think I can get from up here. None in here. So I need two quartz blocks for the node stabilizer. I need a gold ingot for the node stabilizer. I need two iron ingots for this, and then one for the piston that goes into the node stabilizer. I need another redstone for the piston. I need two of these, which I didn't grab upstairs, so I'll need to go back for that. And then I need one piece of quartz for the comparator. I think I'll keep you as quartz and store you upstairs for now. So let's go back up. I'm going to need some bricks. I'm going to need to make the comparator. Let's put you somewhere I know where you'll be. Okay. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. Pitstone comparator. Perfect. Need a piston as well. Perfect. Uh, I think we're good on that front. Now I need the bricks. Did I have any extras? Yes, I did. Good. Sleep the night away. Because we can. And then let's go for it. I think I have everything I need to make. Oh, I don't have the night ore. That's right. Oh, well. We can at least get started here. Are both recipes done in the workbench? Yes, they are. Good. Okay. Oh, I forgot four redstone blocks. My mistake. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, so that's everything I need. That's everything I need. Okay. Now... I just have to make ourselves a piece of, uh, two pieces of night ore. So Ignis, we're good on. Potentia, we're good on. And Lux. Lux? Is that what it's called? Yes, Lux. I know Lux is the right word for light. I just wasn't sure if that was what we were looking for. Oh, you're working this time.
because why not? Okay, there we go. So now we have our boom, Nitor, which can go like that. And then let's see, we need it like so. There we go. And we have our, have I scanned all of these things? Yes. No transducer. Boom. So this guy will help us make an energized node once once we need him. We don't need him right now though, so we're not gonna bother for this instant. Uh, one thing I will have to do though is I should now really focus on making myself a room for everything else I need, like my arcane workbench and all that kind of stuff. I feel like. Hmm. I would like it to be off branch to this facility. Let's see, I can go into this wall. Wouldn't be a trouble. I can move that stuff over there. Once I'm done. I should really replace the lava with the Nitor. It has a slightly less of a chance of burning my place down. And that means I could be able to uh, floor everything here with wood to give me kind of a a uniform look. That would be nice. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Okay. Uh, for now though, let's I can do that stuff off camera. So for now, let's work on other stuff. So now that we have the ability to make an energized node, we may as well start making the things that we can use to take advantage of it. For instance, this guy, the focal manipulator. So let's get that research going. Because why not? We may not have an energized node yet, but that doesn't mean we can't get the research done for to take advantage of it. So let's go for it. Let's see, it looks like the common denominator is going to be Ordo. Uh, I have tons of vitreous, so let's just go ahead and use that. Uh, Fabrico is Instrumentum, which is then Ordo, which is then Vitreous. There you go. Easy peasy. So, we have the Focal Manipulator researched. So what this thing does is it allows us to basically enchant our wand focuses. That used to be an old mechanic in, uh, in Thomcraft, was you just went ahead and you enchanted them in an enchanting table just like anything else. But now instead you have the focal manipulator, which I think is a much more interesting method of doing things. So depending on how you combine and get different enchantments at certain levels, uh, you can get five levels of, uh, of powers for, on your wand focus. And if you combine them in the right way, uh, each stage you can... Sorry, let me start over. There are five levels of focus enchantment. Each level, you get to choose a single enchantment to apply to your focus. It could be any one of up to... I think the usual you'll see is three. Uh, although some focuses can have up to five in a level. so You'll have the choice of just one per level, though. And depending on how you combine them at each stage... So, for example, you choose one thing in stage one, you choose another thing in stage two. Uh, it'll have an, uh, a different effect on it. So you could end up with uh, a fireball focus on the with the uh, with this focus. One focus of fire. You could have it make it so that it shoots fireballs. You could have it so that it makes a steady stream of fire. You could make it so that it makes a laser of fire. So 
all those are just one focus just with different types of enchantments at different levels on it so it definitely encourages experimentation which is awesome let's go check on this guy how you doing I'm growing pretty big pretty quick it's ridiculous Oh yeah, this guy stops, so I'll sort out those engines later. But for now, uh, we should start working on other things that can utilize our system here. So that thing powers itself off of uh, the centipedes produced by an energized node. So we're going to have to energize this guy before we can make use of that uh, focal manipulator, which isn't a problem. Uh, the next thing I'm going to want to take advantage of that is something called... The Essentia Crystallizer, which we've already made. Basically, all this Essentia here, if we have too much of it, it's going to... I can set a golem to put it into a specialized jar, which an Essentia Crystallizer will then turn into crystals. So it'll allow me to store this liquid as a solid item, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the advantages of that are that, basically, uh, I can store it in like barrels and stuff and so on and so forth. Pretty nice. Uh, it's super helpful. Uh, however, it is an extremely slow process unless we give it a steady flow of uh, Earth Centivis. I don't know that it actually... Uh, no, Teravis. There you go. So that's another thing that we'll make use of that. Uh, is there anything else? The flux scrubber is a nice one, and not that I plan on having too much flux around, but uh, basically uh, it will clear out any flux. So if your infusion fails and you get like bubbly flux all over the place, um, that flux scrubber will take air vis in and it'll suck up all that stuff and convert it into uh, the occasional bit of precantatio essentia. I hear a creeper taking damage. That's disconcerting. Is it nighttime? Nope. Must be in the caves then. Alrighty, so. I would love to be able to do that research, but I think I'm missing stuff. You know what? Let's do the Infernal Furnace, because that also requires Centivis. It's not something we're going to be using, but it's something I may as well show you guys. So let's go for it. It's also forbidden knowledge, so we're going to be gaining a little bit of warp doing this, but that's no problem. Uh, let's see, so common denominator here is probably going to be Ordo, really, again. Yeah, that's probably going to be the, the case. Uh... Let's go this way, then this way, and this way. There we go, perfect. Okay, Metallum. That's not going to work out very well. That's okay, though. Um, wow. So then I'll have Instrumentum here. Yeah, that was not my best move. Okay. Well, that's the wonkiest thing I've ever done, but whatever, it worked. Yeah, we've gained a little bit of warp and a little bit of per permanent warp. Not a problem. So this is the Infernal Furnace. It's a multi-block structure that when you provide it with Ignis Vis uh, or Essentia, you can do it either way, uh, it will give you back ores with a occasional flux byproduct and uh, sometimes a little bit extra ore. Uh, sometimes a lot of extra ore. Uh, I think it actually has the chance of being better than the pulverizer more often than not. 
So I'm saying like roughly, I think it's like two and a half probably. So it's like 50% or 25% better than a pulverizer, but it's a lot more of a manual process. I suppose you could automate it with like golems and uh, open crates, but I don't know. To me, it's never really just piqued my interest all that much. Uh, mainly because you can make a, a nice automation system for several different types of ores with something like this. But with that, it's a little bit more involved. Um, and it only processes the metallic ores, so... Never really been my thing, is all I'm saying. So now we'll get the arcane bellows. And basically these... Uh, increase the speed at which... It reduces the flux that are, generates the generates from the infernal furnace. It increases the smelting speed uh, and burns them much purer, which I'm pretty sure... Oh, it also increases the chance of... Yeah, bonus nuggets and other materials. There you go. That's what I was talking about before. So you get bonus nuggets from it, so maybe it's not I think it's worse than the if it's just nuggets then it is worse than the uh than the pulverizer but it has the chance of producing other stuffs as well but I guess so does the pulverizer so uh either way ultimately this is culminating in the flux scrubber which uh will clean flux within 16 blocks where it is placed and uh it has a small buffer that when it's full it will uh, it has to be emptied it will continue operating even when full so it will waste whatever it stores up if it's not being drained regularly precantatio essentia there you go uh, but it does require air vis and I don't see that it says that anywhere but it definitely does oh there you go when powered with air vis there you go got it alrighty so is there anything else I wanted to get? Nothing from Golemancy, I don't think, requires Vs. Thomic Tinkering? To be perfectly honest, I haven't gotten very far into Thomic Tinkering since the uh, since the update with the Energized Nodes and everything, so I have no idea what kind of new stuff is in here. Uh, I've done the majority of the normal stuff, but... Uh, Especially the the end game Kami stuff, I haven't even touched now that uh, Centivis has been introduced. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, Forbidden Magic, I think we're good. Uh, we have the V's Apiary Booster, which, you know what, let's get that. That'll be quick and easy, we can do that. So this is a Magic Bees system that uses the... You know what? I think I would prefer to use air here. Because I have like a ton of it. There we go. Much easier. Okay, so the V's Apiary Booster, basically, take in V's, uh, okay, wait, infusing unusual pollen with, okay, there we go, that's just explaining the crafting recipe. Uh, when fed V's from an aura node, creates an energizing aura that bees are naturally attracted to when the attuned magic, uh, when in tuned to the environment within a magic apiary. So basically, it increases, uh, all the characteristics of your bees uh, it makes them work more efficiently, faster, live longer, I think, all that stuff. Uh, as long as one of those things is placed next to a uh, magic apiary, which I believe we know how to make regardless of whether or not we've researched it. Uh, we might get into this stuff eventually, I've never tried it. 
Uh, honestly, I haven't gotten much into applied energistics since the big update. So, uh, we'll have to get that stuff down first. Atomic Esoterica isn't something I've really checked into either. And I have no idea what this is. Never checked that out before. So, that's kind of uh, where we stand in terms of research and stuff. But uh, that's probably going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And I do love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next one. Look at that. As fast as it can drain it, it's recharging. And that's only on seven recharging bees. How ridiculous is that? Oh my god, I love this thing. I love this thing so much. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.